This is Brooke from Printerbot, Printerbot.com, and I thought before uh, we're uh, completely done with this series, um, we've we've pretty much done with the build here, but I wanted to just a final note on cabling and connecting your electronics. So it's pretty simple. You've got a couple of uh, wires here. There's a red and a black that plug in. It's the only plug that works. It plugs into the hot end. Um, there's another plug that plugs into the thermistor. Uh, the gray wire coming off the hot end is the black and red power cord. And again, a very unique connector. You can't do it wrong. And then the thermistor is the white and black with a unique connector. And what I do is I bring that around and then I zip tie it right here to the motor, leaving some slack with it all the way pushed to the, the right. I bring that around and I actually attach it to a fixed point instead of like the motor or something. Bring the motor wires up. If you rotate this motor, I should have probably done so. Um, it'll be a shorter jump for this motor wire. And then I affix everything to this hard piece right here. So you've got a hard mount and it's not pulling on any, um, you know, these are nice and loose. So that's what I do. And you might even stick another one there. Another zip tie here in the middle keep that right there and then what I do is I usually lift this up all the way and then uh, this particular this looks like it's going to be a little short oh, it might be alright the extruder sometimes ends up being short um, you can make up a little room uh, by going directly you know, with this extruder um, but you, you might have use for an extension there I'm not really sure let's see why is that not doing that and of course yet another so I wonder see there's still plenty of slack here so then we're gonna pull this uh, underneath here now, um, one other thing I mentioned earlier, where is it? This right here, I drilled a couple holes. So I can, actually going to come from the bottom up with a zip tie, and then back down and find it. There we go. I like to affix this to the board so my wires aren't strained. Ah, and I got that nice and tight. <clears throat> See that? That's a good idea. All right, and you might want another. These wires tend to flop around a little bit, so you want to keep them nice and bundled. Now we're going to connect everything. Let's see what's the best way to show you guys. Hmm. Let's do this. Well, kind of awkward. Okay, well, <laughs> and there you have it. Okay, so um, just real quick run through. You've got this bar. I want to send my wires underneath this bar so that they're not resting on top of that when you put it down. Run these underneath. And I'll worry about like the clump of wires that I'm going to end up with later, but I just want to show you guys how to connect everything. So, um, these are all labeled on the electronics. Um, and I apologize if you can't see the, the writing real well. But the uh, first thing is you've got connectors with two, connectors with three prongs or, you know, housings. And then you got four. The connectors with four are all here. X, Y, Z, E. So for instance, X is the one where the motors have been joined together. I mean, I'm sorry, Z is the one where the motors have been joined together. 
So there's my Z. There's a Z. This is Y, X, Y. There we go. Now I know that uh, <clears throat> X, Y, Z, and then E. All right, coming down from my bundle, remember uh, that one that didn't want to reach real well? Well, that is going to be the shortest because he's going the furthest. So this is my E. We may need an extension for that. All right, there's E. And then the final one is X, the one that goes across, and that's usually a long wire. A long wire. And that's my first one, X. Now, very important, you never, ever, ever pull off one of these motor wires, one of these motor connectors, when the machine is running. Um, you could ruin something. So don't do that. So just for illustration's sake, I'm going to take these things that I've just uh, plugged in. I'm just going to zip time, keep them out of my out of my hair. Again, those are all four wire or four pin housings. The other four pin housings, I'm sorry, yeah. The other four pin housing is uh, my double wires coming off of my heat bed. That one is going to go into a four prong, as is my hot end heater. That's a two prong. See the difference? And I gotta, I gotta look real close here. You can actually see the that says hotbed there. Okay, so the top one is hotbed, coming from the hotbed. That's the one that needs lots of power. And this one's the extruder. You see how that those pins they kind of hug. It only goes in one way. You can see a little snap when it gets down. There we go. All right, so that's that. Now we have a couple of thermistors. This is the thermistor from some wires. This thermistor um, is coming from the hot end and that is going to be the one nearest. There's four prongs right in a row. One says um, T bed and the other says says T or thermistor um, extruder. So this is the extruder thermistor at hot end. And this thermistor and by the way you can reverse these wires either way. And oddly um, I know it seems kind of counterintuitive, but um, you could reverse this, and it would also work, even though that looks totally wrong. I like to face those little boots out and keep it pointed the same way, but it's truly just measuring resistance. It's not going to hurt it. Uh, and you know what I did? I went here now on... This is okay that I went this way, but... Um, it's probably a good idea to sneak. When you pull on these, you want to grab the housing if you can. What I've done is broken my rule. I want to go under that wire. I mean under that threaded rod. Grabbing the housing. Oh, slipped. Slipped again. Here it goes. So let's see, I want to go under. So it's not going to be. There we go. Let's 
go under with my thermistor. Well, it's good that I'm making all the mistakes. All right, and then the thermistor coming from the hot bed needs to go under. And there you have it. All right, so we're doing good. The only thing left are end stops. Now this one's the one coming right off the Z. So this is a Z end stop. And these actually, you have room, but I want all my cabling um, to be together. I may, you know, it may be better to come in from this direction, however you want. I just want to show you how to um, plug these in. So for expediency's sake here. All right. Since this is the back of the unit back there, this mess of wires needs to be pulled back and then bundled neatly. Okay, so this is Z, X, Y, Z. And by the way, uh, the um, E end stop is unused. This one's coming off of X from my bundle on the X carriage. I want to make sure I'm right on that. Yeah, and then Y is right here. Oh, you know what? I used a 